Thank you so much for joining us. We are going to end our show today with a fun movie you can watch. It's called Meet You Madness. I spoke with the stars Louise Linton and Ed Westwick recently. Let's take a look. Have a great day. We'll see you next time. Right now we are talking about the film Me, You, Madness. It is an incredible, fun, campy, playful thriller. And I'm catching up with the stars Louise Linton and Ed Westwick. Louise and Ed, thank you for joining us on Park City Television. Thanks thank for having us. us. <laughs> Louise, this looks like so much fun. It, it's a bit of a parody on kind of more of those male-dominated spy thrillers. But also, it has fun notes of kind of being playful with the character. So just tell me more about the film. I wanted to write, you know, the femme fatale archetype I did in a parody setting. And I wanted to write a movie that was an homage to cinema in general and to all my favorite movies, like Flashdance and Footloose um, and Basic Instinct, you know. This is, this is a, a movie for everyone to enjoy. Um, I just hope it makes audiences laugh. I hope it makes them dance. And um, I hope they watch it uh, time and time again. <laughs> and Ed, you're of course so well known for your role in Gossip Girl. Tell me more about your role and your character in this film. Yeah, um, this is a role like none I've done before. Um, I play Tyler, who is a small-time uh, petty thief and con man. Uh, he thinks he's in control. He thinks he knows what's going on, but he doesn't. <laughs> he, um, he is uh, caught up and swept away by this formidable uh, character, Catherine, played by Louise, and um, ends up falling in love with her. And it's, you know, it's an unlikely pairing um, in the most eccentric, exaggerated setting. Uh, the film, is a absolute riot, you know? And uh, for me, it was just it was just so different, you know? I've never done anything like this, and that's one of the things that really excited me about it. Uh, Louise, your character is very strong, very determined. She is brave and fearless, but at the same time, you play her in a way where she's not taking herself too seriously. It, it's, you do really an incredible job. What were some challenges with playing this character? Thank you so much. I, you know, I, um, I'd say the, the, the challenge was more playing the character and trying to be off camera directing and on camera acting at the exact same time. But playing Catherine um, was, was, was just so much fun. You know, she's so diabolical, and, but, you know, lovable at the same time. And I, I, just, I just really in, enjoyed it. I, I, you know, I love the quippy, fun dialogue back and forth. I loved working opposite Ed. We had just great um, chemistry and, and fun together. And we were laughing both on camera and off camera. It was just such a, such a fun, fun experience. And that's so true. The way the two of you interact, it's so good. And Ed, I loved seeing you in this kind of more of a comedic role with a lot of understated humor. What a fun change for you. Have you done comedy before? Um, well, I, as I said, like this was something I've never done before, and I really got to just go crazy um, <laughs> with this one. You know, I've got a dance routine in a robe, um, you know, that's just bonkers, um, and just kind of trying to sell this character that, you know, is just in love with the <laughs> wackiest person ever. Psychopath. Yeah, yeah. Um, so, you know what, I, I, I've never done anything <laughs> like this, you know, and I'm so happy with it. And I, I hope everyone enjoys it as much as we enjoyed making it. Well, and your character definitely um, seems to understand the irony in that. And just um, I, just your facial expressions, you just, your experience, you just nail it, actually. And Thank you. I'm, I'm curious from both of you about your stunts. There's kind of a lot of stunts in there. Do you do your own? How did that work? We did, yeah. So there's a, it's a very physical movie. Uh, there was a lot of action and a, a, a lot of bi a big fight sequence. And um, it went for about seven hours. And uh, I can't tell if we were brave or stupid, you know, because <laughs> we did some stuff that was quite dangerous. Um, there's one thing where Louise... Nearly like died. nearly died and flew over my head and he I saved just my life. I, he saved my life. It yeah. ended up on screen. <laughs> we get it in there. Um, <laughs> so there was like a bunch of stuff where you know we probably could have died, uh, but we didn't. <laughs> so go watch the movie because we risked risk our lives. We are. We did. 
good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm so glad. It's such a fun film. Louise, tell me a little bit more why you decided to write this. Were you you inspired to write such a strong female character and I really was I, mean, yeah. I have always loved the femme fatale genre and I love the archetype you know these these great and diabolical characters have entertained us for for decades whether it's uh, Sharon Stone in Basic Instinct or Gloria Swanson in Sunset Boulevard um, going all the way back to Barbara Stanwyck in Double Indemnity you know it's just it's it's a it's a genre I really love um, but I wanted to write it in a, in a really playful, um, you know, farcical anti-plot. And I, I wanted it to be something just a bit different and entertaining, you know, versus really silly. And Ed, I'm going to end with you. I'm curious, when you look back at filming this, did you have a favorite moment or a favorite scene? There's so many unforgettable moments and really enjoyable yeah. things. Do you have a yeah. favorite? Oh, definitely. When we were... Um, where he comes across the freezer and all the body parts are in the freezer. And uh, I'm just picking, like, I love the line, tell me, did you feed me a bunch of dudes? I just thought for some reason it just made me crack up time after time. And, like, my, I think Louise kept a few things in there, which I, you know, which I didn't think were going to be in there of me just reacting, where I just, I could not keep it together. And I'm throwing these fake body parts, and I'm throwing them, like, so far away from her because I don't want to hit her, and also I've got a really terrible throw, clearly. But um, <laughs> just doing that, and I was just, like, cracking myself up the entire time, just the ridiculousness of some of the stuff that um, took place and, and ends up on camera, just, oh, my God, you can't help but laugh. <laughs> you really can. It's such a fun film. It's breaking boundaries. It's going where other films have not. And it's just, it's a lot of fun. It's very enjoyable. Thank you so much, Ed and Louise, for joining us today. You can watch Me, You, and Madness. It's going to be available for download on February 12th on Amazon, iTunes, DirecTV, Fandango, many different places. So once again, thanks so much, Ed and Louise, for joining us today. Thanks for Thank having you. us.